almost all weekend. Sure, he's yeah. back with some items to maybe keep on your radar. Yeah, so it's sunshine today, but it's warmer over the weekend. I would say Saturday, your best day to get out and about because by Sunday, we're tracking rain, we're tracking increasing winds. The rain and the wind will peak on Monday morning. You're going to want to stick around for a look at the full timeline. Significant amount. Uh, so I would be set for a winter feel outside today and then tonight as well. I mean, if you're going to be out and about this evening, uh, sun goes down 411 for anybody that's lighting the menorah at sunset tonight. Um, let's plan on temperatures in the mid 30s. I mean, it's going to be back to the freezing point by 8 p.m. So by then, uh, you're definitely going to need some warmer layers if you have a Friday night plan out on the town. What we're watching for the weekend is a warming trend, which means instead of 40s like today, we're expecting 50s tomorrow in 60s on Sunday. There's always I see it all the time. People just focus on the numbers and think that Sunday is the day to do all the things. Nope. It's Saturday. Everybody Saturday is going to be the drier, calmer day. It might not be as hot, but the problem with Sunday is that once we get into the afternoon, it's breezy and it gets wet outside, so it's not going to be ideal. We've got our storm that we're tracking Sunday night into Monday. Notice Sunday morning is dry. If you want to run some errands Sunday morning, I mean, you're good to go, but I'd say anytime during the afternoon we work in some scattered rain. We've got it warm enough that we're just tracking drops. No flakes, no ice locally. Uh, we've got our peak wind rain happening Monday morning and then our system moves out Monday afternoon. It's a fairly fast moving system which should limit the flooding potential, but the winds are going to come through packing a punch and we're looking at winds gusting 50 60 miles per hour uh, across eastern Massachusetts strongest Cape and Islands. This is where at this point with the strength winds I'm seeing, I expect there will be power outages and wind damage. Um, and this is again going to be a concern that peaks for that Monday morning commute. So Sunday night into Monday, a couple things you can do now actually make sure your storm drains are not clogged with leaves. Uh, same with your gutters. Be ready for some power outages and secure the holiday decorations. I can't say it enough, especially when it comes to the inflatables. They're not going to withstand that Monday morning. Yeah, I mean, this is your sunniest day, but it's also your coolest day. So enjoy the bright weather while you can. We've got 35 now in Boston, 30 in Norwood and Beverly. It's almost a 10 degree warm up this morning in the Norwood area. In Bedford, let's break it down. We've got temperatures around 30 degrees at 9 a.m., 40 degrees this afternoon, so we still got about 10 to go. It's going to be kind of cool, kind of wintry still today. If you're looking forward to the weekend, I'm with you. We've got 51 tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, but dry. And then on Sunday, 60s popping on the map, but it comes with developing rain and wind. I'm going to be it's back. December, it's going to feel like winter today. I will say it's warmer than yesterday morning by about 12 degrees compared to yesterday at this moment in Boston. So it's not as bitterly cold as yesterday, but we're still talking a winter chill. We're still talking slightly below average temperatures. 35 in Boston right now, 25 in Mansfield, 30 in Wellesley and 29 in Haverhill. You can see today's forecast in the Boston area has us back in the upper 30s by noon and about 40 degrees for your high. We'll go with a little sun cloud combo today. No rain or snow in the forecast. Uh, tomorrow, more clouds around as we bump it back into the 50s and it's 60s on Sunday with developing rain and wind. Uh, in fact, rain and wind, the reasons that we have a weather alert going into effect. I mean, there could be anywhere from one to three inches of rain falling between Sunday night and Monday morning. I still think the wind is probably going to be an even bigger problem, and I've got much more on that coming Everybody, up. Uh, happy Friday. It is another cold start to the day. We've got wake up 20s in most towns and cities, and we're going to go with some partly to mostly sunny skies for today. There will be some clouds mixing in as we've got a warm front that comes through, but that does mean a warmer afternoon than yesterday, and I'm expecting us to actually make it into the lower 40s and most southern New England towns and cities. So there you have it. Mix of sun and clouds about 40 degrees in Boston this afternoon. The winds on the lighter side today. Keep in mind we are going to be watching this next weather alert Sunday, really Sunday afternoon through Monday, and that is for some really strong winds, some heavy rain and even the potential for some minor coastal flooding along the south facing beaches of Massachusetts. This is set to peak Monday morning, so I have held off on a weather alert for Sunday. Right now I'm expecting developing wind, developing rain. If you have some things you want to do outside Sunday, do it early in the day. In fact, Saturday, probably your pick of the weekend with a high of 51. I'll see you on the Boston 25 morning news.